Capwing tutorial for beginners. How to use Capwing video editor is what I'm going to show you in this video. Welcome everyone. In today's video, we'll go over Capwing and the way you can use it if you're a beginner or advanced or an intermediate. This video will hopefully teach you the way to use Capwing. What is Capwing? Capwing is a collaborative online video editor trusted by millions of users. Capwing makes video editing smart, accessible, and collaborative. Now, you can use this app either just like this by clicking Start Editing. So no account, nothing needed. You can sign in, get yourself an account, and get a couple more features and make it more convenient to use. There's also upgraded versions that you can pay for, and you can see them by clicking on pricing. We'll currently use the free version, so it's free. Has no watermarks on images, no watermarks on videos under five minutes, 250 MB file upload limit. Export videos up to 30 minutes long. The thing about 30 minute videos is they will have a watermark on them then, but that shouldn't be a problem. Publish up to three hours of videos per month. Edit and store content up to two days old. Transcribe up to 10 minutes of video, which is incre incredible. Access to all tools. You can also upgrade to the pro version or for teams. They currently have a limited time discount going, which is $16 per month built annually. You can also go to monthly, which is 24. Now what you get there is no watermarks at all. Two GB file upload limit, export files, and videos up to one hour long, edit and store all content, download SRT files, make content private, upload custom fonts, export in 1080p, unrestricted video transcriptions, and access to all tools and premium features. Now, if we go back to the homepage and click start editing, this is how the Capwing editor looks like. Now, you could just go ahead and use start with a blank canvas or upload a video that you want to edit right here or you can go sign in and use your account that's what i will do right now i'll be back once i'm signed in now once you're signed in this is how your account looks you have workspaces on the left my workspace and then you can create several workspaces in order to separate different projects you're working on and make them more clean and easier to work with. Then there's studio, templates, collections, subtitles, audio, and other tools. So you can click on studio over here, which will get you to the editor itself. Now we can click start with a blank canvas or click to upload a video that you have. Okay, you can upload it through Google Drive, Photos, try a sample or paste an image or video. So you can paste a YouTube video in here that you can then go ahead and edit over. Now, in this case, in our case, we'll start with a blank canvas. As you can see on the right, it's a standard 720p. The output size is one to one currently. You can do it uh, 9 to 16, which is a phone resolution. This is full HD for phones. Then there's 16 to nine. This is full HD for YouTube. Then there's four to five and five to four which are barely used nowadays. And then you can create a custom size. So popular sizes are images, IG story, as you can see here, Facebook cover and IG posts, which you can then go ahead and change to. You can expand padding and then change the background color. As you can see here, Let's, we can even do it transparent or pink. Let's go back to white. And that's our canvas. Then there's timing, select output duration. You can change the output to five seconds or zero. So this is currently an image. You can add a custom duration as well. So let's go back to zero seconds. Now on the left here, you can see media, layers, text, videos, images, elements, audio, scenes, plugins, record. So you can record stuff on here as well. And then templates. So the first thing we want to start off with this media as you can see there's all media this is your complete library so everything you've ever uploaded onto capwing is in here or you can do 
this project, which will only be media you uploaded to this project. So in this workspace, which makes it way cleaner to work with if you have several projects you're working on at the same time. Now, in our case, we'll start off by getting a template. And then as you can see here, there's LinkedIn templates, there's Instagram templates, there's memes, several memes, a bunch of memes. But we'll go ahead and start with LinkedIn templates, load them up. And as you can see here, this is a 16 to 9, and this is a 9 to 16. So depending on what you're creating the video for, so let's say Instagram or YouTube, we'll say YouTube. So what we do is click left click the template we want and then click confirm. This will now load our template onto here. And as you can see here, we can remove this by zooming in and out. And as you can see at the bottom here, this is our timeline. This is our timeline currently. And at the top is the PNG, which is the photo in the background. Then you can click the what. That's the text in the top left. If you scroll down further, as you can see, the TT stands for text. And as you can see here, this red one, is an image as you can see it's png which is a file name for a picture and then there's more text which is this logo in the bottom right and then story and if you want to add a video in the background for example and remove the picture what you can do is left click the picture and then hit delete on your keyboard as well as the woman now if you want to add something, click on video. And then you can see there's videos and you can search for something or go to these categories. Let's say minimal. Now these videos come up and we want to use one of these. These are all copyright free. Now let's say we want to use this as a background. So let's click it. Now this is a video, as you can see, this moves which we can do and take a look at by clicking this play button, as you can see. There we go. Now, the video is above the logo. As you can see, you can't see the logo anymore. What you want to do in order to see the logo again is drag the video below the logo sign, then get the logo, click edit text, double click and say hi. You can remove everything and then how to global, increase the size. But we can also add a text above the layer by clicking add header. And as you can see, there's a sample text. You can then click edit text and edit the text above. Let's say, welcome everyone. There we go. Change the color to this blue, change its font to impact. You can make it bold, italic. You can underline it, align it to the right, the center. You can increase its size or decrease its size to say 96. You can make it light as a text outline, a dark text outline or none. You can get a text background color, let's say, we want white background color like this. You can round off the edges, change its opacity, keep it at 100. And then you can see this is what we want. Now what you can do is also add images. Let's say we want to add an animal image. Let's say this fox, you can then Click the fox and then drag it behind your video. You can make it bigger so that it fits your canvas, as you can see here. Now, as you can see from this video to the picture of the fox, we'll, you can change the scenery of your video. There you go. You can then crop the photo length by hovering over this vertical line and then dragging it to where you want it to be and how long you want it to be. 
and that's basically it you have now created your own video as you can see you can also add audio let's say lo-fi then you can listen to it let's say that's a good one we'll click that and there it is it's at the put this at the bottom now if you start playing this video you can see you also have music on your video if you're happy with everything you've done click export video now this will load and as you can see at the top it's a watermark free video you will now have to wait until all these stages are done and the video has been rendered you can then download it you can still edit it make a copy this project is currently public you can make it private by upgrading your account you can then share it on twitter facebook tiktok copy the link or embed it on your website and then you can also say start another project while this is rendering you can start a different project and work on something different that's your capwing tutorial for beginners i hope this video could help you out if it did please leave a like comment and subscribe bye